so, so we can look at you in motion and basically what I'm looking at is there's a five part gait cycle impact and you're running landing on the lateral side of the heel that's pretty typical I probably see that 90% of the time then your foot pronates your foot rotates over towards the arch and we come then to the third stage the support phase this is the critical moment where we're checking the alignment and what I'm doing is drawing a line from the top to the base of the shoe here and I want that line to be perpendicular if you're over pronated you would be tilted in this way and this is just very subtly over pronated maybe a degree or so not very much it's not bad at all impact pronation phase so pronation is a good thing it's a part of the way the foot adjusts for natural terrain like a suspension system mm -hmm. and it helps take up shock and it's important that our foot does pronate some but over pronation which 80 percent of us do is very uh, fatiguing because the muscles of the legs are working much harder they're trying to keep you straight and if we over pronate they uh, they work too hard and then you're not as efficient and you can't run as well and you're much more likely to have injury okay, okay. So here's our line, and again, that's pretty straight. The other things we see here, oh, thank you. I like to use a, pen, a pencil a lot of times to draw that line. So if that is straight, what we see here is an angle about like that. Okay. So there's a little bit of overpronation, okay? Now, I don't care that you're slightly toed out. That's very common, and I think it's just how you balance specifically. And the angle of your leg here, of course, is totally normal because you are balancing on one foot. You have to have your foot on your center of gravity and your knees over here, leaning towards your hip. The propulsion phase, the fourth part of the gait cycle, we like to watch this foot come straight up. Some people pronate in the forefoot. They lift this outside edge first, and I don't see that with you. So overall, in this totally neutral shoe, we see a very subtle overpronation. It's not very much. Um, is correction called for? Well, you're running quite a bit, and um, you know if you're doing some longer training runs, especially where you might get really tired, uh, and you might pronate more as you get more tired, then maybe a little bit more stability for that type of running in your case might be good. Okay. Okay.